Hi, Libra. This is your, ah, this is your reading for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising. You keep having cards pop already. <laughs> I'm Tyler DeSantis, and this is your 2019 reading. The first card we have out is the Chariot with, ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. So you've been slowly working hard towards something, and you've been controlling these two opposing forces. Um, and this card that they have, like, the Sphinx, um, the black and the white one. So what we're coming into is, like, this time of unity where nothing is, like, good or bad necessarily. It's all coming together as one united. So you've been working really hard to bring whatever to maybe they're two parts of yourself or maybe they're like a collaboration between you and some friends or you switching careers um but you've definitely been doing a good job bringing ah, two things together the ace of wands so you've had a new idea or passion or you've been doing something that really like sparks you like you have this fire going in you now that's like bringing you closer to something but this one also came out so it's maybe you need to rest and recover a little bit you've been fighting for something that you um <clears throat> you've been fighting for something but the battle is over now so you might not feel happy about the outcome but with that ace of oh, and the justice card just came out so, um, it could be something that happened legally, or it could be something that you feel, was it, um, ooh, where you was done unjust, but the world has came out to say that, like, things are going to get better. <laughs> um, this is, the world is about, like, endings and new beginnings, and, um, being in the state of like completion, she like dances the world to its end and then brings it back, basically. But she's taken this, you see how the wreath has like the two red marks on it? It's where she's taken this eight, which is infinity, and she's released it to be the zero energy where it's like, you are free, basically. It's freedom. It's not being stuck in a pattern. It's being free to create and be who you want to be. Cool. And the ten of swords saying that your ideas or the things that you've been thinking about have been not letting you move forward. Like, they have been the time where you feel beaten up. Your ideas might be holding you back. You might be caught in your thoughts. Ooh. Definitely looking at what's wrong instead of what you have going on that's right. Because you've had... A good idea. That's why he's talking to this fish. There's something emotionally. Um, to me, it feels like maybe you're listening to your heart too much. You're listening to something too much and forgetting about your head. You're listening to your emotions and letting them rule you. Then your emotions are controlling your thought process when you know what's right and what's wrong. And it's making your financial situation fucked up because it's like basically these people are left out in the cold. Are you leaving yourself out in the cold? Like, are you listening to your heart? Like, I do this when I, like, I'm guilty of it too, but sometimes I listen to my heart too much instead of my head. It's like, you know this guy's a piece of shit, or you know this girl's a piece of shit. I'm not saying that they're a piece of shit, but, you know, some people are not good together. They're a piece of shit with you. <laughs> we sometimes bring out the worst in people instead of the best of people. And so maybe you're in a relationship or a situation at work or a situation, um where these people are not bringing out the best in you and it's like you know in your hi baggy and you know <laughs> and you know that they are not bringing out the best in you and you need to go be around people who are going to bring out the best in you so this fucking um eight of wands coming through to say you have new ideas you have new passions you have the creative forces in you and the desire and the fire to move on and do something new stop being trapped in this energy of uh, your mind feeling um, feeling like you can't get out, feeling like you can't see the way, feeling like there's no end to this because there is. Like the emperor controls his. Um, the emperor is like a number of the man. So whereas three is like creativity for me, four is like manifestations. So you have the power to manifest things, and maybe what you're manifesting keeps 
becoming bad or your life is still becoming bad because that's the way you're thinking about things. When you change your thoughts, you change everything. Like, with Libra, it's definitely, like, you guys try to be friends with everyone, and a friend to everyone is a friend to no one. <laughs> Stop worrying about other people so much. Stop always trying to be the just person. Reach deep down inside of yourself and see what you want. Like, don't try to please everyone. Like, it's okay to be nice to people, but don't blatantly lie to them because you're trying to please them. I know it's, like, in your nature to want to make everyone happy, but sometimes... Loving people is making them mad. <laughs> Ooh. And you got the soulmate card, so there's somebody going to be popping up who is going to teach you some things. They're going to be emotional fulfillment, but this card is upside down. So this card is also about, like, nostalgia. Maybe you are, excuse me, maybe you're focusing on things that were, you're thinking about things that have been in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, that we're way better than they are now. And you can't do that. You have to realize that you control the future. You, it's up to you to make your future by the things you think today will manifest your tomorrow. By not thinking about the things that have already happened. Try to live each day like it's a new day and see things in new eyes. Don't try to see them through the same old eyes. Try to be, like, childlike and have, um, oops. Hi. Excuse me. Can you back up, please? Thank you. You had the Ace of Cups. Back up. Thank you. you the Ace of Cups to fall over all of these cards over here. And all of these cards are kind of like, um, more sad cards. So it's saying, like, listen, you have a new opportunity that's going to spring up. This is, like, the challenge of... Uh, light basically it's like um the holy grail um opportunity wisdom um but the wisdom comes from inside you it's like you're the cup you have to fill yourself up completely and fully and fully love yourself before you can um give to anybody else and maybe you're giving too much away of yourself um too much of your time too much of your emotions too much you're just draining yourself and it also fell out with these two. And they were right beside these two cards also. But these two cards saying, the Queen of Cups saying, like, you control your emotions. You control who you give your love to. You control who you give your time to. Make sure you're doing that wisely. Because you have this new opportunity um, to, and it was with these two cards. So, so you have this new opportunity. It could be new ideas. It could be a new love. It could be new material wealth like or new a new house a new opportunity at a job new stuff in this realm but um it comes through to say like they're gonna give you a new opportunity take it don't be scared of doing something new don't be scared of um trying to look at things through new eyes try to try to just go with the flow like I'm going to pull a couple from the Work Your Light deck also. So, what does Libra need to know about this Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles? What can... Oh. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So there you go. Trust your path. And let's clarify on these other cards over here. These kind of naked, more eh, ones. Things that we need to let go of, probably. That's what we have. Oh, okay. Whoa. Mmm. Cool. And this fell out of my other deck that was just sitting here on the edge. It says, um, some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. It's funny. It, I wasn't even pulling out of that deck. And it says, no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. And this was about, and this one says, Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So I was asking about these cards over here. You know what I'm saying? I was like, clarify these for me. So these cards are all these ones right here. So to them, I think that that's what this one is. Like, no, just let it go. Let that go. 
know that you have a mission here and your mission is to uplift and um, channel and make humanity happier, make it better, trust your path. The gods are supporting you with these. This one is just amazing though that this one fell off. That's so cute. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. I mean, that's dope though. Okay, Libra. You guys have a beautiful rest of your January. I'll see you guys back in February. Check out my website, tylerdaysantis.com. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever. <laughs> Bye.